At ready, brave souls, as we count down the top 5 most harrowing animal encounters ever recorded. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to join us on this thrilling expedition into the heart of fear. Brace yourselves for the adventure of a lifetime. In 1898, during the construction of a railway bridge over the Tsavo River in Kenya, workers encountered extreme difficulties due to the presence of two maneless male lions. These lions, later named the Tsavo man-eaters, became infamous for their relentless attacks on the workers. The lions targeted the laborers, primarily Indian workers, who were building the railway. They would stealthily stalk their prey during the night and drag them from their tents, often killing them and devouring their bodies. The brutal attacks continued for several months, causing widespread panic and terror among the workers. The Tsavo man-eaters displayed exceptional cunning and intelligence, seemingly evading traps and eluding capture. Their nocturnal attacks were characterized by stealth and silence, leaving the workers in a constant state of fear and vulnerability. Lieutenant Colonel John H. Patterson, an engineer overseeing the construction project, took it upon himself to hunt down the man-eaters and protect his workers. Despite facing numerous challenges, including the lion's ability to avoid conventional traps, Patterson persevered in his pursuit. After several weeks of relentless pursuit, Patterson successfully killed the first lion on December 9, 1898, using a powerful .303 caliber rifle. The second lion was dispatched three weeks later, on December 29, 1898. The deaths of the Tsavo man-eaters brought relief to the workers and marked the end of their reign of terror. The story of the Tsavo man-eaters gained international attention and has been the subject of books, documentaries, and even a feature film. The lions' excessive predation on humans and their seemingly abnormal behavior sparked debate and speculation about their motivations and the circumstances that led to their attacks. Today, the Tsavo man-eaters are remembered as one of the most infamous cases of man-eating lions in history. The story serves as a reminder of the complex dynamics between humans and wildlife and the profound impact such encounters can have on both sides. Between 1764 and 1767, the people of Javadu, a rural area in south-central France, were plagued by a mysterious and ferocious beast. The creature, described as a large wolf or wolf-like animal, was responsible for a series of brutal attacks on humans, primarily targeting women and children. The beast of Javadin was known for its savage nature and its ability to strike fear into the hearts of the local population. It exhibited abnormal behavior, such as targeting its victims' heads and throats, and showed little fear of humans or domesticated animals. As the attacks continued, panic spread throughout the region, and efforts were made to hunt down and kill the beast. Numerous hunting parties were formed, including professional hunters and soldiers, but the creature proved to be elusive and cunning, managing to escape capture on multiple occasions. The hunt for the beast of Javadin gained significant attention and attracted crowds of spectators. The French monarchy even dispatched skilled wolf hunters, such as Francois Antoine and his son Denival, in an attempt to put an end to the terror. After several years of relentless pursuit, the beast was finally killed in 1767 by Jean Chastel, a local farmer and hunter. Chastel used a combination of a bullet made from silver and a blessed musket to take down the creature. The death of the beast of Javadin brought relief to the traumatized population, and the attacks came to an end. The exact identity of the beast of Javadin has been a subject of debate and speculation over the years. Various theories suggest that it could have been a large wolf, a wolf-dog hybrid, or even multiple animals. Some hypotheses propose that the beast may have been suffering from a physical abnormality or been driven to aggression due to starvation or other environmental factors. The legend of the Beast of Javadin has captivated imaginations and has been the subject of books, films, and other artistic interpretations. It remains a chilling chapter in French history, illustrating the terror and hysteria that can be caused by an unknown and deadly predator. During World War II, the USS Indianapolis, Ka-35, a Portland-class heavy cruiser, played a critical role in delivering components of the atomic bomb that would later be dropped on Hiroshima. After successfully completing its top-secret mission, the ship set sail from Tinian Island on July 28, 1945, towards late in the Philippines. However, tragedy struck just a few days later. On July 30, 1945, the USS Indianapolis was struck by two torpedoes from the Japanese submarine I-58, causing the ship to sink rapidly. The ship sinking was not immediately noticed, and no distress signal was sent, resulting in a delay in rescue efforts. 
Approximately 900 crew members went into the water, many of them without life jackets. Unfortunately, due to the lack of the proper lifeboat deployment and the suddenness of the sinking, survival equipment was scarce. The crew faced extreme dehydration, exposure, and the constant threat of shark attacks. Over the following days, the survivors endured unimaginable horrors as they awaited rescue. The warm waters of the Pacific Ocean attracted large numbers of sharks, including oceanic white tips, known for their aggressive and predatorial behavior. The sharks quickly targeted the weak and injured sailors, launching frenzied attacks. Shark attacks were relentless, occurring both during the day and at night. The survivors formed groups to stay together and ward off the sharks as best they could. They tried to create makeshift rafts and stayed huddled, waiting for help while enduring the torment of shark bites and witnessing the death of their fellow crew members. On the fifth day, August 2, 1945, a patrol plane spotted the survivors by chance. Rescue operations were immediately initiated, and over 300 sailors were ultimately saved. It is estimated that around 150 crew members lost their lives due to shark attacks, dehydration, injuries, and exhaustion. The USS Indianapolis shark attacks became one of the most tragic incidents involving sharks and human victims. The story gained significant attention after the war, and it was depicted in the 1975 movie Jaws, further bringing awareness to the horrifying events that took place in the Pacific Ocean during those fateful days in 1945. Hare, whose real name is unknown, was born in rural France around 1772. From an early age, he exhibited an insatiable appetite and a seemingly endless capacity to consume food. Terra's eating habits were far beyond what would be considered normal. He had an abnormally large mouth and a wide throat, which allowed him to devour enormous quantities of food in a single sitting. Reports suggest that he could eat his own weight in meat in just a few hours or swallow a whole basket of apples without hesitation. It was said that Terra's stomach expanded greatly after eating and he could go for days without feeling hunger. Hare's unusual abilities drew the attention of those around him, and he became somewhat of a spectacle. He joined a traveling sideshow, where he exhibited his remarkable eating skills to the public. He also performed for medical professionals, who were baffled by his extreme appetite and tried to understand the cause of his condition. Despite his seemingly superhuman ability to consume food, Terror suffered from severe malnourishment. His body was emaciated, and he constantly battled with weight loss. He also had terrible body odor and was plagued by constant diarrhea. In addition to his unusual eating habits, Terror exhibited other strange behaviors. He was reported to have an unpleasant body odor and was said to have swallowed items that were not considered edible, such as live animals and stones. Terror's behavior and physical condition intrigued doctors who attempted to study and diagnose him. The true cause of Terror's extraordinary appetite and behavior remains unclear. Some theories suggest that he may have had a rare medical condition, such as polyphagia or hyperthyroidism, while others propose that he may have had a psychological disorder. Hare's story ended tragically. During his time in the military, he was used as a courier, ingesting a wooden box with a secret message to deliver. However, he was captured by the enemy, and despite torture, he refused to reveal the message. Terror eventually escaped, but his health began to deteriorate rapidly. He returned to France and sought medical help, but his condition continued to worsen. Terror died in 1798 at the age of 26, and the exact cause of his death remains uncertain. Terror's story continues to fascinate and intrigue people to this day. His extreme and bizarre eating habits have made him a unique figure in medical and historical accounts, highlighting the complexities of the human body and the mysteries that can surround it. In the 1950s, scientists in Brazil attempted to crossbreed African honeybees, known for their hardiness and productivity, with European honeybees to create a hybrid that would be better suited for tropical environments. However, some of these Africanized honeybees escaped from the experimental colonies and they began to establish wild populations. Africanized honeybees are highly defensive and react more aggressively to disturbances compared to their European counterparts. They have a larger defensive radius and are known to chase perceived threats for longer distances, attacking in larger numbers. As the Africanized honeybees migrated northward through South and Central America, concerns grew about their potential impact on human safety and the ecosystem. News media sensationalized their arrival, coining the term killer bees and portraying them as a deadly threat. The first notable attack of Africanized honeybees occurred in 1957 in Brazil when a beekeeper was killed by a swarm. 
Since then, there have been numerous reported incidents of killer bee attacks, resulting in human fatalities and injuries. One of the most infamous incidents took place in the United States in 1990, when a swarm of Africanized honeybees attacked a family in Texas, known as the Wislaco Incident. Several family members were stung hundreds of times, and one person died as a result. Although Africanized honeybees are more aggressive, it is important to note that they are not inherently more venomous than other honeybees. The main concern is their tendency to react aggressively to disturbances, such as loud noises or sudden movements, and their swarming behavior. Efforts have been made to manage and mitigate the impact of Africanized honeybees. Beekeepers and agricultural officials have implemented techniques such as hive inspections, queen replacement, and genetic testing to identify and manage Africanized honeybee populations. It is worth mentioning that while Africanized honeybees have caused concern and occasional tragedies, they should not be seen as an unstoppable menace. Public education, proper hive management, and caution can help reduce the risk of negative encounters with these bees. The attack of the killer bees represents the public's perception of Africanized honeybees and the fear associated with their aggressive behavior. However, it is crucial to approach the topic with accurate information and not exaggerate their threat level. As our thrilling journey through the top 5 most terrifying animal encounters comes to a close, we bid you farewell, but not without leaving an indelible mark on your adventure spirit. We hope this exploration of the wild has ignited a fascination for the awe-inspiring power and beauty of the animal kingdom.